So, when you watch this make it, you'll notice that I put the protractor at this end so I can make a 42 degree angle from down here to up here. The reason for that is because in Casper, Wyoming, we're at 42 degrees north latitude. This part over here doesn't need to be at any specific degree because it needs to be free moving so if you're using it outside the sun will be able to cast a shadow no matter where you're at. Now the reason that this has to point north is because since we're in the northern hemisphere uh, that's where the gnomon will always point to the same spot relative to the sky. Um, if you wait till the night it will be pointing towards Polaris. And you'll also notice that we have 6 a.m. right here and 6 p.m. right here. Well, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So you'll notice the 6 p.m. is over on the east. That's when the sun would be setting in the west, so the shadow would cast towards the east. And the 6 a.m. is over towards the west, uh, the sun rises in the east, so the shadow would point towards the west. Now, if you were in the southern hemisphere, your gnomon would have to point to the south pole. And again, it would be at whatever angle you are south latitude. When we were making it, I had the protractor right here at the 0 and 180 degree mark and I placed a mark every 15 degrees all the way to 180 and that's because the sun uh, moves 15 degrees relative to the sky every hour and that's because the earth actually rotates 15 degrees every hour there are 24 hours in a day and the earth makes one full rotation which is 360 degrees and 360 divided by 24 is 15 and so that's where it marks every hour. And if the uh, gnomon, which is just the pencil here, uh, were to cast a shadow in between uh, the one and the two, uh, that would represent 130. Because the shadow moves constantly as the Earth rotates.